and adds that no boy should have come here to play, dropped the handkerchief. <laughs> There are more than a dozen coaches on Bryant's staff, plus professional trainers and managers and a contingent of student assistants. The practice is rough, says Bryant, because the game is rough. The tougher his boys are, the less chance they have of getting hurt. He's made a specialty of taking what he calls my small boys and staying at the top. And indeed, Alabama teams are not big as Midwestern teams, but they're faster and they win. They win because they're well trained. But perhaps even more important, they are motivated. What I'm trying to say is one of the best things you can do is that little old spring drill. Come on, come on, come on. That little old spring. Oh, you get something. Bryant is a legend, a myth. He's more than a man who teaches them football. He's their father away from home. And by extension, his staff comprises their uncles. A pretty tough bunch of uncles, but well regarded and admired by the boys. At the beginning of this year, Bryant, as head coach, had won 171 games, lost 51, tied 14. This is how he and his team do it. Get down and do it. Somebody like that. Oh, I might put the head, two heads over there on the ball right close to it. Uh, I like yeah, it. I read. Don't